Hey gamers, guess who's back with another tier list video? I thought I'd rank the 1 star cards since I kind of want to go through and rank all the cards eventually and maybe combine them into one big tier list. That would take fucking forever, but I want to do it eventually since I think it would be a cool like project. But right now we're just going to work with the 1 star cards. So the tiers we have are iconic like 10 out of 10 either they're really funny or they're just a really good card we got silly that where they're a okay card we like them but they're not 10 out of 10 we got mid they're mid cards so either they're just like not that interesting or just like overall okay-ish we got boring which is just like they could have done more but it's not really a bad card. And then we got Try Harder for the cards that are just way too boring and should have done more with them. Probably none are going to be in Try Harder except Hatsune Miku. <laughs> because they just kind of have her standing there. But besides that, let's go. Okay. So first off, we got Hatsune Miku. And as I said before, she's going in Try Harder. Because they really just made her stand blankly and stare at the screen. They didn't give her a pose or anything like the other Vocaloids. And in general, it's just kind of boring. There's nothing going on in her <laughs> card. She's just staring blankly at me. And next we got Rin. She's kind of hitting it. Uh, I'll put her in Silly. I think she has a pretty silly pose and just overall is a good card. I don't have much to say about the one star cards, by the way, since they're just kind of silly. But in general, I think Rin's is a pretty okay card. Next we got Len. He's kind of just like jumping at the screen. I think his is also pretty silly. Since just in general, he's just kind of hitting it. Actually, I'll put him in Iconic. I feel like Len's is pretty iconic. Since I've seen it in, people, in a lot of people's custom profiles. And just in general, I think Len's one star card is pretty dope. Next we have Mieko, or Mako. I still would never be able to pronounce this name. Hers is alright, I'll put her in mid. She's kind of hitting it with the microphone. But besides that, she's not really doing much. Which, like, I feel I can't put her in silly or iconic. Um, next we have Luca. Uh, I'll put her Luca in boring. I feel like she's not really doing much. She has a good outfit, but like besides that, that's just her Vocaloid model. You can't really say much about the actual character in the pose or anything since she's kind of just standing there. It's not as bad as Miku's where she's just actually looking like they took the model and just like T-posed it and like called it a day. But she still kind of has a little pose. <coughs> Next we have Kaito, I would put him in mid. Kinda has a pose, kinda doesn't really have much going on. But not as good as Rin, but not as bad as Luka. So I feel like he's kinda mid. Next we have Ichika, the most forgotten girl. But you know what, I will not forget her. Um, I feel like her pose is alright. Mm, I would say it's a mid card. No, I would say it's boring. She's not really doing much besides just like walking and like I feel like she doesn't really have like a cool pose or anything that makes the card noteworthy at all and yeah anyways we have Saki she goes in silly because I would say it's a pretty silly card she's just kind of hitting a pose and like looking fun which is good because it's Saki and just in general I think Saki has a pretty good one star card Next we have Honami, the person that won't leave me alone. I have five Honami four stars and I'll never be happy about it <laughs> because I haven't read her event story, so I don't like her very much yet. I mean, I still like her as a character, but like, I, she gets 10 times better if you read her event stories, so go read those if you haven't. Um, I'll put her in mid for now. She kind of has a pose, she doesn't have much going on. It's better than Ichika's. But in general, it's just an alright character. Or alright card. Next we have Shiho. Shiho's just kind of pulling her hood up 
and looking like she doesn't want to talk to you, which I would say is pretty silly. Also, I'm not ranking them in the tiers. That's too much work. But anyways, I would say it's pretty silly. Um, maybe I'm a little biased. You know, that's okay. I can be biased. This is my tier list. Anyways, I like Shiho's one-star card. I think it's silly. But that's a, all I gotta say. I think Minori's is also kind of silly. She's kind of just like hitting a pose and looking lively. And I don't know. She just looks very happy and silly in it. So I feel like she gets the silly here. Next we have Haruka. Uh, she can have mid. She's just kind of... Mm, no, she gets boring. She's just kind of standing there and staring at the screen. Which most of the time I will call boring unless there's a reason why they're not boring which we'll get to in a specific card um but yeah I don't have much to say about Haruka she's just kind of standing there and not doing much much better than Miku's pose but still not much um next we have Irie I think Irie's is pretty iconic she's hitting a good pose and all I think hers is pretty funny and I feel like she's pretty iconic for her one star card. Um, next we have Shizuku. I feel like she gets boring. She's kind of just standing there looking pretty, which is fine and all, but I feel like she could use some more, like a better pose or something for her card. Next we have Kohane, which I feel like her one star card is pretty funny. Simply because I've used it a lot to like, just like joke around. But I feel like besides that, it's not like a common funny card. So I feel like all she can get is silly for me. I don't know, I think it's just a pretty silly card of Koane just standing blankly. Which, if it was like Miku, I would say it's bad. But because it's Kohane, she can just do whatever. Next we have Anne. She just kind of looks sassy, so I'll put her in silly. Which... I think it's funny because she just looks sassy. And in general, I think it's just a pretty silly card. Um, Yeah, there's not much to say. She's just in her school uniform. Almost all the characters are in their school uniforms for these one-star cards. Next, we have Akito. Iconic. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the memes of the Akito one-star card, but I absolutely love them. And I just think his card is great. It's just so funny. Because I used, I used to go into pro rooms as a Kito one star and like <laughs> fail on easy for funs. For funs. Wow, English. For fun. <laughs> and just in general, I just love the Kito one star card. Toya, on the other hand, I would say he's kind of boring. He's kind of just standing there with... I feel like most of the boring cards, they're just standing there. And unless they have like a good reason for why I like them, they're not going to go any higher than boring. Next, we have Sukasa, which I would say is pretty silly. He's kind of hitting it again. Mm, I'll put him in Iconic. His pose is pretty iconic since he has a lot of stamps that look like that. And in general, I feel like just it's a pretty funny card that you can just make jokes with. Um, next we have Emu. Emu's hitting the hooray pose, which I feel like is pretty iconic. <laughs> I love Emu a lot, so I'm pretty biased for this. But I feel like in general, her pose is pretty iconic since Emu's kind of always very happy. And her pose is just hitting it. So yeah. Um, Nene. I would say Nene goes in mid. Uh... Just in general, there's not much going on, but I feel like it kind of shows her character at least a bit in her pose, where she's kind of closed off. So I feel like it's good character-wise, but like, for this tier list, unless you're like silly, you're not going to go very high up. Ruby, I feel like Ruby's is also kind of mid. He just kind of looks carefree and silly, but not silly enough to go in the silly tier. Uh, there's not much to say about Ruby's card, he just kind of looks like dopey which is fine but like it's just kind of like silly um kanade 
I would say she goes in silly. She's kind of hitting the sassy pose like Anne. And you don't really see her in this outfit often. So I feel like it's a pretty silly card. And just in general, I feel like her arms crossed and looking kind of like pouty is pretty funny. Uh, most of the N25 one stars are pretty good. Um, next we have Mafuyu. Uh, <laughs> I love this card a lot. I have a Discord server <laughs> that's just stretched Mafuyu. And I feel like it's just a great card. She just looks so funny because Mafuyu's known for being like so fake. And it's one of her cards where she's acting fake. So it's just so good. Or I, that, I don't mean fake. She just like has like a persona which she uses when she's like in public, which is so fair and valid. And I love Mafuyu for that. Next we have Enna and Enna's. Whenever I look at Enna's where she's like kind of has the finger over her mouth and then the other one near her chin, I kind of look like she's mewing. <laughs> so I'm going to put her in Iconic since Enna mewing is just a great card. <laughs> And in general, I just love it in general. Oh, wow. In general, I love it in general. Mm. English is... This, this this video is a 10 out of 10 so far. Next, we have Mizuki. I feel like Mizuki's is pretty silly. Um, She's kind of just hitting a funny pose. And in general, it's just a pretty silly card. There's not much to say about these cards. Most of them are either they're just silly and funny. Or they just don't have much going on and they're boring. But I think that'll be it. This is my tier list. Wham. Title of tier list. One star cards. Crads. One star cards. Smiley face. Save. There we go. Bam. Anyways. Have a good night gamers. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.